Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Asian Psycho, and whoa, the it came loud. His audio is really loud. Anyways, so we're gonna get started on the Rec Seven review of the uh, Rec Seven family of reviews, chapter number forty-five, with me, Asian Psycho, aka Toad Sniper ninety-eight. And as usual, I'm doing giving you guys some good old junk fleet one man army gameplay because that's what I'm best at. No bragging rights, whatever. But whatever. We'll get started on the Rec Seven Rangers review. So, if you guys didn't know this already, uh, the Rec 7 Rangers is indeed an NX Rare variant of the Rec 7, meaning that you probably won't be able to see this every day. So, uh, if you do run into this, you I would recommend for you guys to try and go over the two, the Rec 7, if the original owner was dead or killed, and try to pick it up, because it is a very good assault rifle. So, let's get started on the discussion of its stats and other goodies. So, stats. The damage has stayed the same. The portability has increased by one from 66 to 60, uh, or 65 to 66. My bad. And the rate of fire has stayed the same at 76. And the accuracy has changed significantly. It has improved significantly from 81 to 85. This is to complement the fact that the Rec 7 Rangers, if you guys couldn't tell already, has an integrated uh, sniper scope. Just like the, it, it's basically the same zoom and same exact scope as the L96A1, and the same scope that you can see on the M417SB. The uh, it's I like I like to call the Rec 7 Rangers and the M416 or the M417 SB like brother or sister assault rifles because they're pretty much the same. They're, they're pretty much like the same kind of assault rifle. It's just that you know they have a few differences, the statistical here, differences here and there, and recoil changes. Like they both have 35 rounds in magazine, same ammo capacity, uh, the same sniper scope. They're both NX rare, so that's why I like to really call the um, these two like brother or sister assault rifles but I'm getting sidetracked um that's why the anyways that's why the accuracy is increased significantly by four points to complement the fact that the Rex 7 Rangers does now have a sniper scope the L96A1 sniper scope so, which is extremely useful at long range mind you so Anyways, that's that. That's why that's there. And um, the recoil has, for some reason, according to Combat Arms Wiki, has increased from 62 to 65. I have no idea why this is, because the recoil spread, while it did change a little bit slightly, and the fact that the recoil spread um, enlarges a little bit faster than the Rec 7s, it's not really enough to warrant the fact that Nexon would give it three points more recoil. I don't know why they did that, or I don't know if it's a typo on the uh, Commodore Wiki part, but I'm pretty sure it's Nexon's fault for that, so I don't know why they did that, but that's there, so I'm not gonna argue. But anyways, so any other changes that I can think of on the Rec 7 ranges that, uh, that has, you know, ported over from the Rec 7, the the, like I mentioned before, the recoil spread um, has changed uh, in the fact that the Rec 7 Rangers' is, uh, spread increases a little bit more, uh, a little bit faster than the Rec 7's. Not by much, but it's still definitely there and still definitely noticeable. And it can throw your aim off if you uh, if you don't aim properly. So there, that's that. So do be careful of that. And uh, mechanically speaking, it has also changed a little bit, and it's not really too important. I mean, the the draw on it, well, the draw animations kind of remain the same. Um, it's just that it just looks so different on your HUD. Like it has a gold kind of desertish camo, and it's got the it's got an engraved foregrip, and also it's got the it's got that integrated uh, sniper scope as well. Like the only, like you can see the Rec 7 within the Rec 7 ranges, like the basic gun frame. It's just that it looks a lot different on your HUD because of the fact that it has a foregrip and it's got a integrated uh, scope. Like your sprint animation is a little bit different, your reload animation is different. Like those trivial things that make it make it feel and perform a little bit differently than your Rec 7. So it, those are a little bit, a few changes that I wanted to point out there. Not too important, but still worth noting. Um, everything else should be the same um, as the Rec 7. I mean, the only diff the the huge the biggest difference that the Rec 7 Rangers offers over the original Rec 7 is the fact that it does have an integrated sco um, a sniper scope. So, um, <laughs> well, look, that this, obviously this gameplay is very very old. Um, I I think I got this like at least a couple months back, like maybe before even this year. So, um, that's why you see an OPK there. So. Thankfully he's gone, and thankfully he didn't crash the game, because back then it was, the game crash was fucking everywhere, so, um, thankfully we were able to play on, and yeah, that's pretty much it about the Rec 7 Rangers, like I mentioned before, the, uh, 
the most notable difference is the fact that it does have the integrated uh, sniper scope and it is very useful. Ah, I should talk about the, um, before I forget, the, the in scope recoil and aspect of the sniper scope of the Rec 7 Rangers. So, the recoil kickback is, I can, I'm start, I can see why now that I think about it and think about the recoil kickback on the uh, Rec 7 Rangers while scoped in, I can kind of see why the Nexlon gave this a 65 recoil, but I don't really think it should be that high if you factor in everything because what happens with the Rec 7 uh, Rangers is uh, in scope recoil. You guys can't see in the first half of this video because, I mean, obviously I don't really have a need for, a need to use um, the sniper scope and like a such clo a close quarters map, but um, if you try to tap fire, the tap fire on the Rec 7 range is much better than the Rec 7, but it's still, you can still easily over tap fire with it. So maybe you'd like the rate, the optimal rate at which you can tap fire with the Rec 7 is like do, 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 like that. So, um, maybe at that speed any faster? I don't think so because it'll, it'll easily knock in, like, It'll easily knock your uh, re uh, tap fire ability out of whack. So um, the re tap fire ability is still not the best, but it's still very much so improved on the Rec 7 Rangers. So that's that's all obviously a plus. And um, it, the recoil kickback itself per shot, while scoped in through your uh, sniper scope, is very high as well. Like compared to like say the M417 SB for those of you guys who have used it, it's like twice as high, or like 50% uh, higher than or the in the in scope recoil on the Rec 7 Rangers like 50% higher at least 50 percent than the uh m417 sbs I, that's that's one of the reasons why i much prefer the um, the m417 sb because of the fact that it's a re uh, recoil kickback while scoped in is much lower and thus you can tap more much more easily with it than you can with the rec 7 rangers so that's a little bit of insight on the uh the rec 7 rangers as Rico kickback while scoped in. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this review. I do really love the Rec 7 Rangers though because of the fact that it's pretty much everything that the Rec 7 is except more integrated sniper scope. I mean, who can say no to that? I mean, I do like the iTech, but in all honesty, I, I absolutely love the fact that there's a sniper scope on a sword rifle. It just makes my uh, long range engagements just that much easier. So, if you guys do happen to come across the Rex 7 Rangers, do take the time to pick it up, because it is quite the beast assault rifle, so it is NX Rare for a reason. So, anyways guys, thank you very much for watching. This will wrap up the very short of Chapter 45, Rex 7 Family uh, Chapter Reviews. My name is Asian Psycho, aka Tobas Sniper 98, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this review, these reviews thus far. So, in the next episode, or in the next chapter of reviews, I have yet to figure out what's next. So, um... Stick around. It's probably going to be the rank after the dual scorpions. So we'll be right back and have a good day. You could just did that. Another thing that I forgot. <laughs> sorry about the uh, sorry about this extra audio por portion here. But when I thought back uh, after I did the initial Rex Seven Rangers audio commentary, I look. I've kind of looked through and checked it to see if anything I was missing. And I have soon realized that I didn't talk about the burst fire function. I don't think so. If I, I it's been some time since I last did the did the uh, Rex Seven Rangers commentary that you heard before this one. So um, because technically um, right now is a different audio file than the one that you've heard for the past seven minutes or so. So. I don't think I've I mentioned the burst fire function. If I did, then um, I do apologize. Then you can just ignore this because it's just going to be me probably re reiterating some stuff. But in case I didn't, which most likely I don't think I have mentioned burst fire rifle or the burst fire function on the Rec 7 Rangers. The Rec 7 Rangers is capable of a burst fire uh, function, a three round burst um, function, which is obviously different from the its Rec 7 range, uh, the Rec 7 and extended variant because the Rec 7 was only available in uh, fully automatic. It didn't have like an actual uh, toggle, uh, like burst fire toggle thing where you could switch between three round burst or fully automatic. That's what the Rec, Rec 7 Rangers offers in comparison to the original Rec 7. So yeah, the burst fire function on the Rec 7 Rangers is 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 pretty good for middle range because obviously the Rec 7 Rangers, uh, the spread on the Rec 7 Rangers can get quite out of hand, especially at middle range combat. So the three round burst function is there to mitigate the fact that you know you might be at disadvantage at uh, middle range combat uh, up against other weapons, say like maybe more some more accurate some machine guns or some other uh, more accurate and less like less recoil heavy um, assault rifle like the M4A1. The um, the M4A1 is much better than the Rec 7 Rangers at uh, middle range, cause just because of the fact that the spread on and 4 one is just so damn low that it's not even, it's, it's like, you don't even, even worry about it. But for the Rec 7 Rangers, you kind of need to worry about it because the, the uh, spread on the Rec 7 Rangers is pretty heavy to begin with. So, 
yes the three numbers function is there um i have got, received a few comments from people who say like don't forget about the three round burst you know some of some, some of us do still use the three round burst and i i know i, I acknowledge that it's because sometimes i also use it right uh, through the, the uh, three round burst function as well if i'm feeling like oh my middle range combat um you know ability isn't isn't quite up to par so i'm gonna have this i'm gonna use this three round burst function to help me out a little bit so anyways guys this should be the end of the review i just uh, slapped on this two and a half three minute um extra audio segment just to cover the uh, three round burst function uh because i do apologize that uh, i forgot about it how could i have forgotten so anyways this is the end of the this is the true end of the rec 7 ranger review and in the next episode or the next family reviews we're going to be diving into the sg550 family the underrated and understandably so uh, assault rifle family of combat arms so anyways guys thanks for watching we'll see you guys later and you appreciate it